One of the security guards caught in the crossfire in a shootout with armed gunmen at Mpumalanga Township west of Durban has died in hospital. The armed gang accosted security guards at a local ATM and stole a cash box containing an undisclosed amount of money. A second guard and three bystanders are recovering in hospital. Police spokesperson Jay Nyker says police are yet to nab the suspects. Uh, during the shootout, three bystanders were also injured. Uh, the suspects then took the cash and fled in the vehicle. At this stage, we've assembled a task team under the command of Brigadier Vezi from the provincial head office. We'll be investigating the matter. We're appealing to members of the community. If there's anyone who has information that can assist in the investigation, to please contact the nearest police station. Auction Alliance CEO Ray Levitt has approached the High Court for an interdict to prevent the media from publishing reports about alleged collusion with banks, liquidators and attorneys in a money-making racket. A Johannesburg Weekly reports that a 13-year-old paper trail has revealed that the company has paid kickbacks to attorneys, liquidators and bank staff to ensure business goes their way. The company reportedly trained auctioneers on how to rig an auction. Levitt has attributed the allegations to the competitive nature of the industry and disgruntled former employees. On to international news, an outspoken critic of President Bingu wa Mutarika of Malawi, Ralph Kasambara, has been taken from prison to hospital suffering from a heart ailment. Renewed violence has broken out in the Syrian capital, Damascus, where a Chinese diplomatic mission has been pressing for dialogue between President Bashar al-Assad and opposition protesters. Syrian forces have opened fire with live ammunition to break up a protest against al-Assad. About 30,000 demonstrators had taken to the streets for the funeral of three youths. And finally, stars, friends and relatives have begun arriving in the city of Newark in New Jersey for the funeral of American singer Whitney Houston, who died last weekend in a Los Angeles hotel room. The death of the 48-year-old singer is still being investigated.